T-minus 16 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have to go from ready to start. 2, 1, here. Booster ignition and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. Houston Endeavour roll program. The maneuver is complete. It's now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. 28 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 1.3 miles in altitude, and 7 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, according to onboard computers. The next step will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. look at uh, some video shot by Endeavour's crew earlier, not long after the shuttle's launch today, of the external tank as it made its way back down towards Earth. And now this video showing as the payload bay doors opened about a half an hour after Endeavour's liftoff. You can also see here the main cargo that Endeavour will be delivering to the International Space Station, the Tranquility Node with its uh, cupola window attachment there at the front end of it. This animation gives you a rough idea of what that inspection will look like on the uh, starboard side. The actual inspection will be conducted at a far slower speed. Uh, the animation is sped up so that uh, you get a good sense of uh, the activity. They'll be looking all along the uh, leading edge of the wings at the RCC panels, the underside uh, for the, uh, the tiles, then move to the nose cap, as you see here, which is uh, reinforced carbon-carbon panels, as well as the, uh, the heat shield tiles around that area. And then uh, they will move on to uh, conduct the same sort of inspection on the starboard wing. Again, looking at the uh, reinforced carbon-carbon panels right along the leading edge of the wing, and then uh, turning underneath to get a look at the heat shield tiles. The shuttle robotic arm is now lifting the orbiter boom sensor system away from the payload bay sill. Astronauts Kay Heyer and Nicholas Patrick are operating the shuttle robotic arm to get the orbiter boom sensor system ready for its use in inspecting Endeavour's heat shield. The space shuttle robotic arm is now continuing on with its movement for the survey of the starboard wing. The crew members have uh, moved on to the next step in the procedure to continue with the survey with the scan of two sections at a time, the second and third of the procedure. This is a view from sensors on the end of the boom extension looking closely at the reinforced carbon-carbon material that protects the wing leading edges and nose cap of the orbiter. This is Mission Control Houston continuing to watch views provided by sensors on the end of a boom extension that is being used to inspect Endeavour's heat shield. 
This uh, section of the inspection along the starboard wing also includes a pass up uh, along the starboard side of the crew cabin as well. Endeavor, page 7 30 at the bottom, starting recording. Endeavor, Houston, we're with you. The robotic arm now back in motion to complete the survey of the nose cap. This is Mission Control Houston. Good view here of Endeavour's port wing from the cameras on the Space Shuttle's 50-foot long robotic arm. You can see also in this view the orbiter room sensor system that's attached to that robotic arm for this survey of the wing leading edge on the port wing. This is the third segment of the survey that the Endeavour crew has been working on all day. They've already completed the starboard and nose wing surveys and are now finishing up this or, or working on this last segment. This view of Endeavour's port wing coming from a camera on the on the shuttle's robotic arm. In the background, you can see the Indian Ocean from a distance of about 213 miles. The shuttle just passed over the coast of Somalia and now is going to be heading southeast towards the southern ocean and the southernmost portion of this orbit around the Earth. This is a view from a camera inside Endeavour's payload bay looking at the orbiter docking system. This is the portion of the space shuttle that links up to the International Space Station. And as all the crew members are getting ready for uh, docking to the International Space Station. There are uh, Patrick in view again waving to the camera. And there, the terminal initiation burn using Endeavour's orbital maneuvering system engine. This is Mission Control Houston with a view from a video camera on the outside of the International Space Station looking at the Space Shuttle Endeavour with the horizon of the Earth below. Endeavour is behind the International Space Station at a distance of about 27,000 feet. This is Mission Control Houston with a view again from the centerline camera in Endeavour's orbiter docking system. This is a snapshot of that view from the video camera looking up at the International Space Station. Endeavour is about 1,600 feet away from the complex. Endeavour and the International Space Station are orbiting about 216 statute miles above the Earth over the Pacific Ocean just to the east of the Philippines. The Space Shuttle Endeavour is continuing through this maneuver, a nine-minute backflip called the Rendezvous Pitch Maneuver or Arbar Pitch Maneuver. going through that prescribed uh, mapping of the underside of Endeavours, looking at the, the per thermal protection system tiles. This is a view from the video camera inside the orbiter docking system on Endeavour. It's a snapshot to, from that camera being updated periodically looking at the International Space Station. Endeavour Houston on a big loop, you are go for docking. Great news CJ, thanks, go for docking. Happy Endeavour. This is Mission Control Houston now with a live view inside the Space Shuttle Endeavour. 
Commander George Zamka at the controls. Flying Endeavor.